Hi everyone, this is Mr. Neil Reiter, also known as the Wax Whisperer. Thank you for tuning into my latest video. I had a patient who attended with bilateral impacted earwax. This is the left ear. Um, in addition to the earwax in the left ear, the patient also has a fungal ear infection called otomycosis, and that will become more apparent as we proceed uh, with the procedure and we remove the plug of wax. You will be able to identify some of the fungal spores. Uh, Otomycosis, um, so a, a type of fungal infection, uh, it comes in various forms. You can get uh, kind of black spores, black dots. That's one um, indicator of a fungal infection. But sometimes you also get, um, it's like a spider's web. It looks like cotton wool fibres. Um, so you can often be mistaken um, that it's like some cotton wool or Q-tip, but actually it's otomycosis. Now this patient is a regular client, um, they haven't been for a while, they're um, long overdue. They have a chronic history of ear infections, and in, in specifically chronic uh, fungal otomycosis ear infections. However, the, we've, have, we've got a good routine of late, uh, whereby the patient attends regularly and we keep on top of it, but I think they've become a bit complacent because uh, the last few visits it's been uh, a lot better, and I think they've just left, unfortunately, a bit longer than they should, but which made it a bit more difficult. Um, so the patient's ear is extremely narrow. Um, so I'm using a standard Zollner uh, two millimeter suction probe here, and you can see it's filling up most of the ear canal. So it's a very, very narrow ear canal. And medially, so towards the eardrum, the patient um, has got quite a prominent isthmus. So an isthmus is a, a narrowing that most people have in their ear canal around half a centimeter away from the eardrum. And if you can get, if you get wax, lodge beyond the isthmus it's very very difficult to remove and in addition what makes this uh, procedure a bit more complex as well is that the patient's ear canal entrance is completely collapsed it's shut so the cartilage um, laterally near the entrance has weakened so the, the ear canal almost collapses upon itself so we have to gain access in the ear and this is where I feel, again, an endoscope is fantastic. Once you've got the skill level um, and experience, you actually use the endoscope. So we, I actually pull the ear upwards and backwards using my um, thumb and finger to stretch the ear. So you can see how shut the ear canal is here. It's there's no entrance. And I've just, with my thumb and finger on my right hand, I've pulled the pinna. So the pinna is the medical name for the external cartilage to so the satellite dish. If you pull it, back and upwards in adults, it straightens and stretches the ear canal. And once I've done that, I insert the endoscope into the ear canal and I use the endoscope as a doorstop. I literally, so as I've opened it, um, I just position the endoscope in such a way that it holds the cartilage in place and it widens the ear canal entrance, which then enables me to insert the suction probe. Um, so I've just put some olive oil earwax drops into the ear, trying to lubricate this. Can't really use an ear hook because there's not much space in the ear canal and we're quite medial. So if you remember, if you've been watching my videos, the inner two thirds of the ear canal is composed of a very thin layer of epithelial skin, um, thickness less than 0.1 millimetres, directly adhered to bone. And we see the bone, if you make contact with the bony part of the ear canal, it's very, very sensitive, whereas the outer third of the ear canal is cartilaginous, the skin that lines the outer third of the ear canal is thicker as well, so it's one millimetre in thickness, there's some fatty tissue, and, and with cartilage it's a bit more uh, a bit more of a buffer, a bit more bouncier, it's semi-flexible, um, it's semi-sensitive, so you're still going to be careful when we're in the outer third, but you can apply some pressure on the ear canal wall in the outer third, whereas the inner two thirds are just going to be really, really difficult, uh, careful. So you can see I'm now managed with the help of the olive oil to manoeuvre this plug of wax and dead skin out of the end. You can see on the right hand side of this plug, it's all white. Now, initially you would, you would think that's some cotton wool fibres. However, it's not. It's actually otomycosis. So this fungal infection is attacked. It's, it's, it's inhabiting on this plug of wax and dead skin. And you can see it really, really does look like um, cotton wool. And as I said, the patient does suffer from chronic otomycosis, although for the last year or so we have kept it in check. So just some residual, residual dead skin at the base. So it's going to use a fine end gauge. So again, I'm stretching the ear wide open, using the endoscope as a doorstop, if you like, to keep the um, ear canal entrance open, which then provides me with ample space to insert 
initial of choice and you can see there's some automycitis top part of the ear canal there so the patient's got some fungal and caniston drops so they're going to be using that the eardrum was also slightly dull it was retracted so they also do suffer from chronic eustachian tube dysfunction um, we're in the right ear again uh, the right ear canal is very very narrow we're using a standard zolner two millimeter suction probe here and it's taking up much of the space in the ear canal and similarly to the left ear the ear canal entrance is virtually shut so i've stretched open the ear canal by pulling the, the pinna, so the external cartilage that looks like a satellite dish, back, so posteriorly and then up, so superiorly. And that not only widens the ear canal, it straightens the ear canal, it straightens the first bend. Um, so we've got two bends in the ear, and by straightening the first one, it then leads straight to the second bend, when from there on, it's almost a straight line towards the eardrum. So once I've stretched open the ear canal, i just using the endoscope like I did in the other ear as a doorstop. So the endoscope's positioned bottom left of the ear canal and I've really stretched this ear canal open now. Um, if I didn't use that technique, I wouldn't have been able to enter the ear. And uh, just quite medial, a bit of soft wax on the medial anterior canal wall. So when we say medial, we mean towards the eardrum. Anterior means the front part of the ear canal. So in the case of the right ear, the anterior canal wall is on the right hand side the posterior ear canal wall is on the left hand side the superior canal wall is at the top of the ear canal the roof and the inferior canal wall is at the base of the ear canal so i'm just mopping up to the patient because the patient does suffer from chronic infections generally because of the build-up of dead skin that gets infected and has it migrated out of the ear i'm just trying to gently suctioning any dead keratin that i can with that which is non-resistant if this keratin is resistant we, we just leave that So the eardrum's fully visible, just some hairs there, just trying to vacuum them, move them out of the way. We will have a few hairs in our ear, it's not going to cause the patient any issues. I did think, actually think, I think I managed to just manoeuvre them out of the ear. And there we are, that's the patient's tympanic membrane. Nice and healthy. Some Just some dead keratin at the base, so... The patient's going to use an ear popper, which is a, a device, uh, an air puffer essentially, that pumps air up the, the nostril um, and you swallow at the same time and it forces air up the eustachian tube. So the eustachian tube is the pressure equalising tube that connects the middle ear to the cavity behind the eardrum to the back of the nose. It ensures the air pressure is equal either side of the eardrum, um, but if that gets blocked at the back of the nose, there's no air behind the eardrum and it gets sucked in. I hope you enjoyed that video, guys, and you're all keeping well and safe, and um, I shall speak to you all soon. Take care. Bye.